Hello everyone, I'm back. I hope you all are there with me. Can you please quickly raise your hand? Those who are there in the meeting. Okay, so that's great. Let's start. Okay, so guys, uh, there is a link shared by Archie in the chat. This is the course redemption link. See guys, you guys are attending this co-pilot training here. So once you are done with the training today, you will be completing this co-pilot course. Okay, so as you have attended so how you are going to prove other that you have completed this course so for that we are providing you the course completion batch you just go to the step which is provided to you into the chat okay make sure you are reading redeeming this batch by using your microsoft learn profile i hope you must be aware with the microsoft learn profile that we use to maintain our history like whatever the courses are done whatever the certifications are completed so in that certification profile your course completion batch will be provided to you and this batch you can add to your your resume you can show to your organization that yes you have completed this course okay so i request you all to please go through this link and redeem your course link if you find any difficulty, please put into the chat. We are going to help you out for the same. OK, so guys, uh, please put your hands down now. Thank you so much for the response. OK, so the, before the break, we have started with the very first learning path we have already completed. That was about the Microsoft 365 Copilot introduction. We have understood what is this Microsoft uh, Copilot uh, 365 is all about. How this uh, respond to us, how it understand our prompts, our queries, what is the structure behind the scene? how it is getting the data, how it is able to respond to us, right? So we have understood that it is using the AI capability. There is a Microsoft graph in between that plays a very important role to gather the information from all the Microsoft 365 data points like your users, different applications, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Teams, chats and all so on. And then as a user, when you have to interact with the chatbot, you need to use the application. You must be having the proper license. OK, and even I have given you the demo that how we can start using Copilot from your office.com. That was the grounded chat option. The same grounded chat option you were getting your uh, in your teams and your Copilot for browser. We have also discussed how we can use Microsoft Copilot 365 capability for Word, Excel, PowerPoint, where I have shown you how we can start writing the prompt. OK, for with some basic examples like summarizing a document, editing something, having some questions, uh, asking for some key points, right? But there you might have observed that when we are interacting with a co-pilot, it is very important how you are asking the question with the co-pilot, right? How you are putting your query, that is what? Crafting prompts, okay? Sometime when you are asking the co-pilot, you may not get the required result. So it will ask you to rephrase your sentences. So it is very important for us to write or create the effective prompts. OK, so even I have uh, discussed there are four key points. 
while drafting the prompts. Can you please let me know? Recall me. What are the four key points we have discussed? What are the three main points you should be there in your mind? While crafting a prompt, anyone? You can write into the chat box. I will be coming back. There were four points I have uh, discussed before the break. <laughs> so we are going to discuss about uh, how we can craft effective prompts for Microsoft Copilot for Office 365. The agenda for the same would be that how we can summarize, right? How we can write the effective draft uh, prompt for summarizing the content. How we can create a new draft or create something with Copilot. How we can edit. What are the prompt we should write for editing or transforming the content? And how we can ask the question or analyze the content. So these will be the main agenda for this session. OK, now anyone let me know. Prompt should be detailed. Uh, OK, that's fine. But what were the four main points I have discussed? See. For this training, we are going to use some uh, documents. OK, and I have some references file that I'm going to use for this module. So. Already I'm having these files. Even I will share you the link how you can download these files for the practice. Now, if you remember, I was discussing how to write the effective prompt. Four main key points. First one was the goal. Second was anyone remember that? First was goal. What was the second one? Context very good. Next, what should be the third one? Goal context. <laughs> expectation very good. Context expectation. What was the fourth one? Very good source perfect. So we have goal. We have expectation we have context and we have source okay now putting all these four key points in our mind we are heading towards and completing and working with this module so whenever you are uh, summarizing or editing the content or creating something or asking the question it is very important to put these four key points okay First, what is your goal, context, source, and your expectation? So here I'm going to take my first uh, document. So I'm going to use it for the Word document. Uh, let me open it. OK, so first I'm going to open a Word document. That is my marketing analysis report. Uh, I will be opening it from my browser. First, let me close. All the tabs. OK. So as I have discussed, we are going to mainly discuss on four aspect. First, summarizing the document PPT or our sheet or our chat or our email. Second, we are going to discuss how we can create 
anything like uh, creating the document ppt okay creating any um, draft right now the third point we are going to discuss that is uh, editing the content and the fourth one is asking the question or analyze. So first we are going to focus on summarizing the content. So this is the document which is already open. That is your market analysis report for Mystic Spice Premium Chai Tea. Now here you have a very first option that is summarize this document. So when we are using simple three word summarize this doc, summarize this PPT or summarize this email. So it is going to summarize all your pages like if you have 100 pages 200 pages it is going to summarize all the documents all the pages let's see the answer we are getting But what do you think? Is it what the correct prompt I should use? Anyone, what do you think? Is it the correct prompt I should use? Just three words are enough. Correct. So here our goal is clear, but what about context, expectation and source? OK, so here our goal is not clear. Uh, sorry, our goal is clear, but context and expectation is not clear. So we can make it in a more better way. Like for example, with a brief overview of the main point to discuss with my team, right? So basically, like let's say tomorrow you have a meeting with your team. You have a sales team or marketing, whatever. So my context is what? I want to have an overview of the main point so that I can discuss these points with my teams for a meeting. So here I can write, hmm, summarize this document. Right now you will notice I have lots of summary over there. So I can set the context, summarize this document or summarize this document with a with a brief overview on main points to discuss with my, let's say it's a sales team. For meeting, that's it. Now almost uh, I feel same points it is going to dis, uh, going to give it to me. Asking me uh, try asking me again or ask me to help you with something else. OK, it says that I have run into that issue like let me just put it in again. But the time it is looking for the answer. Let me show you one more thing here. OK, it says again there is a, some problem. No problem. I really will refresh it. But here uh, you will notice the summary it has given to me. Can you see 12 references? The references it has taken from the. 12 key points. These points are from my this. Document. If I click on this one. You can put your cursor and it will take you over there from where this point is taken. Third one. OK. Fourth point. Next one. So you can use this references to just verify the content which is generated. So you can go to a reference point. Now here I will make it more clear because right now I have given the goal and context. You can make it uh, with some expectation and uh, 
source also source can be like for example i want to have a key point but from a specific area my source will be let's say for a, dis, a distribution channel okay so here i can write it um please summarize this talk to let's say five key points only so five key points is my expectation i do not want many points just a five points are enough five key points so five key points or i can write uh, give the source also please summarize uh, in place of this talk i can put a specific source like this uh, or the section please summarize the section and i can mention that is okay let's say plan promotion plan and strategy with a with a brief overview view to discuss with my sales team during meeting and further i can write please keep the summary in five key points let let just see how it is responding to me so here my goal is clear that i want to summarize the thing right then i have put the expectation that it should be in a five key points then i have made the source that source is a specific section that is promotion plan and strategy and i have made the context very clear that uh, my purpose of having the the summary uh, for a meeting where to discuss with my team member okay so can you see that the difference between this response there are five key points if i scroll up you will notice these were the point that was earlier uh, given to me right this is more clear five key points are there objective tactic implementation expected outcome and challenges now again go back and check promotion plan yes it is increase awareness so i'm just making sure whether it is taking the data from the specific section or the source i have mentioned yes it has done that so all the reference points are from this section only anyone if you are like to suggest any prompt uh, regarding this particular document like the way i have uh, created the prompt do you want to suggest something make sure we are only focusing on summarizing uh, the document
those who have raised your hand, can you please put your query into the chat? Ramesh, Vijay Kumar, Gaurav. Tom, Ramesh. What that a layman should understand? Okay. Summarize the content from the. Okay, let me copy it from here. Or guys uh, uh, would be great if you are going to try the prompt effective prompt and I will be directly copying that prompt and pasting it as it is you are putting into the chat. So I'm just rephrasing it. Uh, but promotional plan already it has summarized the content. So I, I don't think there is again uh, we should give the same prompt. Uh, Manish, I'm not clear with your question. Suggest key point to improve sales. So, Miss, do you want me to put this as a question to, uh, to co pilot? Okay, I will do one thing. Summarize key points to improve sales. OK. Let's see. See, whatever the prompts you are writing, every time you may be having a different document, a different scenario, a different need, different context, different source. But you have to make sure that in your prompt, your goal is clear. Is your context available? Is your expectation is there? OK, are you giving a proper source or entire document or entire slides for the summarization? See here, I'm having uh, the suggestion make the summary more formal, make the summary more casual. OK, so like it has summarized the key points. To improve the sale, like here it is giving me, you have to focus on highlighting unique features, leverage rich aroma and flavor, flavor promote versatility, sustainability and packaging, customer satisfaction guarantee. Same, right? So it has given me key points, and here you have the reference for the same. Now, if you want to make it more casual, so I have written it, make it make the summary more casual. See, now it is more in a casual language. In a layman language. OK, so I am copying this. And pasting it here. Predict the ROI for a month and year.
uh, uh what do you think this is correct like predict the roi for a month and year both balmukund right now well i am just putting it like that let's see what answer we are getting it has given me the answer uh so to predict the roi for the promotional plan for the particular chai um we can use the expected outcome provided in the document here is a breakdown monthly roi and annual roi it is incorrect the roi okay this one is the interesting one but i i feel like it it is going to give us a dashboard or not that i that i have a doubt but let's try see whatever the answer it is giving uh, to you you have to make sure that you have to verify the content which is generated i suggest you that make your best it is it should be your uh, best practice to go and check the references it has used right on what basis it has created this content for you see i can create a dashboard for you but i will need some additional information to provide accurate roi distribution across different month could you provide the current sale figure the exact budget allocation for each month and any specific goal or target you have in mind for the promotional plan this will help me to calculate and visualize the roi distribution effectively so this is the answer you have got ramesh so if you will provide the proper information uh, it is going to create a dashboard for you okay yes kaurav any question from your side so i'm just going to use this prompt also by manish provide me the summary of action and best practices in the document See, this is the best practices positioning chai tea leveraging unique feature engagement tactic and action overcoming challenges monitoring and evaluating so this is the answer to you manish okay let me copy it for you give me more information about this segment or area that we need to focus in order to increase market share very good huh? i am impressed that you guys are uh, really giving me good prompts
okay so this is my last prompt uh, now we are moving ahead towards the powerpoint and excel okay so this is the answer copilot has given to me to this question to increase market share for the chai you should focus on targeting health conscious customer appealing to younger in urban segments expanding distribution innovating flavors and formats and competitive pricing right i hope you have got your answer dheeraj yes uh, nilkunj uh, nikunj we can do that kalyani nukunj uh, nikunj we can do that as you have just of the observed i have asked the related questions here to provide the this dashboard now it is asking you some more information if you will provide the information surely it is going to give you the dashboard as in a word we have a option to insert the charts and all so it is going to create that for you okay now let's move ahead so now i'm going to open any another document let me find out a ppt see uh, whatever the document slide or sheets i am using make sure it should be available in your one drive okay so now i have my ppt available so you can simply write summarize this presentation This presentation is about market analysis report for Mystic Spice Premium Chai Tea. You can use the same. You know, it is based on the document that we have just uh, work with. So you can summarize this presentation, okay, for uh, your boss. Uh, where uh, with the with the main points to discuss for the meeting, or to any specific agenda. Like this is my agenda. product description market trend and demand market share distribution channel promotional plan expected outcome and challenges so if you have any prompts i can write it for you for the copilot anyone almost it is just same like you were you mentioning it for the document Uh, Gaurav, you can put your hands down if you do not have any question. You can mention here. summarize this ppt slides like i want to uh, analyze from slide 3 to uh let's see Two to seven, three to seven. Summarize slides three to seven.
you can make it more specific like uh, please format the main points as a is a bulleted list and use professional tone Let me try it again. Summarize. In this. In this PPT. for my team Am I writing? Okay, thus. Okay, so it has given me the summary from slide uh, three to seven that I have asked for. Okay. So you can mention like there we were in a document, you were mentioning some particular uh, a source so here you can give slide number as a source so it is going to give you the key point from that particular slides that you have mentioned within 5000 word will be too much don't you think so okay that 5000 word will be too much for the summary anyhow it is only 14 slides Let me try this. Uh, this is the part of analysis actually. Uh, but here right now we are discussing about the summary. But no problem, I can just do it for you, no problem. Come up with sales against protection figure for analysis and focus on the geographical area where sales need to increase. See. This is the sales analysis. It's your protection analysis and geographical focus. And it's your customer base. You can refer this. Review it. And just check whether you are expecting uh, the correct answer. It is as per your expectation or not. Okay, and so now let's move on to the next uh, 
topic that is using Excel. For this, I'm going to open an Excel file. This is Contoso Chai Market Trend. So this is the table I have. I'm going to use Copilot. So already I think I have given you some draft over there, some prompt over there. Like let me use a simple one. Analyze this table. See, now it has analyzed your data. This analysis shows a trend in artisanal chai sales by date with sales peaking at 690 units on 12th of, uh, sorry, 31st of December. For more detail, please refer to the pivot chart above this message. I can click on add to new sheet. It has added it to the new sheet. You can see the analysis. If you want, you can uh, have the summary from the particular date, like let's say this is from 1st of January to 31st of December. You can make it a specific to the particular quarter. You can ask the question that uh, you want for a particular date, like let's say from May to August, or let's say from January to March. OK, accordingly, it is going to give you the summary. You can also ask the question from the particular chai like that. Right now, this is for a particular one. You can ask it for uh, pre-made chai sales, social media engagement and so on. Let me ask another question. Please highlight the top selling project each category. for each category for okay let me mention it with more clarity top selling product top selling
Let's try it in this way. Within the table, it is within the table. Okay, I need to mention oh, sometime it actually happens or it, it automatically gets the data, but it is asking me to specify the particular column name. Okay, so no problem. I can do one thing. Please highlight the top selling product in total choice sales. within table one. OK, and I want to. Remove this one. Let's try in this way. Yeah, so it has highlighted. Can you see that it has highlighted me the top of uh, the highest sale? For both the T sales category. So here it is 690 and here it is 587. OK. Anyone any questions so far? Any uh, prompt you want me to use here? Uh, stop from the private internal content. Uh... No, I couldn't get you, Lakshmi. Uh, I, I, I am not able to get you. See, it is summarizing your email only, na? Means, uh, what is your exactly question? Whatever is there in your OneDrive, in your Outlook, it is going to summarize that data for you. But of course, what is there in your email, other cannot have the summary of the same. I hope it is clear. Lakshmi Prasanna, I hope it is clear. Whatever is there in your mail history, of course, your email is private, right? And your OneDrive space is your private one. It's your private space to keep and manage your files. So any other people in your organization cannot have the summary of the document which is there in your OneDrive. Or the chat that you are doing with someone, another person cannot have the summary of the same. Unless until you have not shared that file to any other person, like let's say. Shubham is there in my organization, OK, and I have shared any document with Shubham. Now Shubham can ask the question from that document. OK, but whatever is there in my OneDrive, you all can not ask question from the co-pilot regarding the same. I hope it is clear. OK, that's great. Now, yes, guys, I was asking that do you have any prompt? To be used within the table, anyone? I'm asking for the summary perspective. Even you can also ask a question like. Uh, show total. Sales. For.
So I'm asking for the total soil for a particular category for all the unit from starting 1st January to 31st. Yeah, so it has given me. The total sale. The total sale for this category is 4763. See the pivot table that's above. This message is for more detail, so I can click on add to a new sheet. And now I have this pivot table. OK, you can select it and here you have the pivot table fields available. You can also mention like total chai or pre made chai sales also. Social media engagement, online searchers, the total for all. Right, so you can uh, notice that how this pre-word table is automatically created for you with the help of Copilot. There are some other suggestions like how many different social media engagements are there. I can click on it. See the count distinct count is 11. Any other prompt from your site? Create a social media engagement chart. See, this is about creation. So uh, I will be coming back to this creation part later. Just after summarizing part is done. OK, I'm just going to use this one. Which state we have Lee social media engagement view. Which date I can mention? OK. See, I have the answer here. This is the date and the number. You can cross check. Here you will notice 1705 is the least view I have got and the date is this one. Right, so you have to review it. OK, if you feel like this is correct, OK, and wherever you feel like that Copilot is not giving you the correct answer, you can always have an option to have a thumbs down. OK. I hope you got your answer. Shubham, this was the answer for your question by the Copilot. OK, anything else, guys, you want me to put over, over there regarding the summarization? OK, so now move ahead. I think in Teams and Outlook, I have already shown you. Um, how you can summarize the chat. So in the teams like here, we have the co-pilot option. You can summarize your chat. I can write. In the last week.
okay so this was the summary i have got in the teams similarly this was the overall grounded chart but if you will select any particular chart done from a particular meeting or within a uh, to with a particular colleague you can go to that chart and you can ask copilot to summarize so for that here right side you have this copilot option this chat window open and here you can ask a question from the copilot to summarize it or to mention the key points discuss with this particular person or to create the reply okay and within your outlook within your outlook here you have a option at the top this is the copilot option you can ask copilot to summarize your email like uh, summarize email for the last month or summarize uh, email where any document related with the copilot is shared like let's say summarize uh, recent emails where the discussion is done about copilot you can also use copilot like let's say for one week you were on leave okay or you were on any client assignment you were on field and you were not able to uh, you know catch your emails so you can quickly open your copilot and you can ask copilot to uh, give you the summaries give you some key points okay so you can catch up quickly and any of the mail uh, important mail or any discussion you will not going to miss so here i have the summary with the recent email discussions that is related with the copilot can you see that so all the discussion i can see the date i have when that particular discussion was done what was the discussion so it's all about the copilot 13 july okay anything else guys you want that uh, should be used with uh, as a prompt when you are going to summarize your chat or email. We can also ask like how many spam mails I have got in past one month. Okay. Ah, uh, but spam you can directly check it here or check it out here. Junk email and junk email is anyhow like it will be deleted after thirty days. If you want, no problem. I can just type it for you. I can write in uh, last. Last week. They couldn't find any information about the number of spam email you received last week. And if I check. This was on June. Yeah, that's why it is not able to give me the information for the last week. Okay, so now we can move ahead. I think the summarization part was clear to you guys. Now let's see how we can create and draft with the help of Copilot in Microsoft 365.
so here now we are going to learn that how you can craft a effective prompt to save your time and efforts by using copilot to create something like if you have to create any document okay or if you have to brainstorm new ideas any material you want to uh, create using copilot okay in ms word excel powerpoint teams or outlook so first I'm going to start with the help of MS Word. Let me create a new document. Hope it should work now. OK. Uh, See, let's say I have to create assignment for my attendees. OK. Uh, on a particular topic, let's say. Let me pick any topic. Um, why don't we pick today's topic? This is the topic, right? I'm going to pick it. Help me create an assignment for my students on and topic you can mention in inverted comma generate. It is creating assignment for me. So it has saved almost three, four hours for me. OK, before Copilot, it used to take a whole day to create assignment for me on a topic. But now with the help, with the help of Copilot, within few seconds, assignment is ready. Here you will notice the topic is there. I have the overview. OK. This is the learning objective, the task that a student has to perform. Like create a word document that summarize a research article on so and so topic. This is the power P the PPT presentation. This is the submission and evaluation. And this is you will be evaluated based on the following criteria. Now here I have an option to keep it. If I will keep it, this document will be ready. There is an option to regenerate it. If you are not satisfied with the one, you can click on regenerate. Now let me click on regenerate. So now it has regenerated the content for me. There is a difference. If you will notice the difference, this is the current one and this is the previous one. Where task are mentioned task one, task two, task three, and this is the next one. Can you see the arrow? Now there are two draft available. This is the current one. Where the assignments or instructions are part one, part two, part three, and four. If you have to add something like, for example, please add more assignment for Excel.
So now here, uh, if you will notice part three is for Excel. If I go back with the previous one. And here you will notice there were only five lines, but is as I have requested to add more uh, content for Excel. So it has added few more lines and asked participant to do some more activity about the same. Now there are three drafts available. So you can review each and every draft and whichever you feel like is the perfect one. You can go to that. OK, and here you have an option to keep it. Let me click on keep it. And now your document is ready. So this is how you can use Copilot to create the content for you. If you want to further add, if you want to edit the document at the bottom, you have this Copilot option. Just click on it and now you can craft your sentence again and you can ask Copilot to add few more sentences over there or few more content over there. OK. This is the Copilot. If you have to ask any question, if you have to summarize this document, you can do that. Anyone who want to suggest something? <coughs> Find the difference from the both the assignment uh, means. The uh, already you have selected a draft. This was a draft actually. So this draft is already selected and now it is the final one. So if you want to ask the question about the differentiation between two topics and all that you can do here. OK, you can ask, but it will be based on the current draft, which is the final one. OK. But the draft you have asked for Copilot to create like you were having three options. So that you manually have to review that which one is the correct one or which one is the perfect one and you are going to keep it. Is it clear? OK, thank you. Yes, guys, anyone who would like to uh, put any prompt over there if you do have to create something. Add emoji is OK. Let's try. So it has added emojis also. Can you see this? You can ask, please add few. pictures related to the topic and mention your topic here oh no um my topic is this
so it has added few pictures also but it has regenerated the same content but i actually was uh, trying to write it separately but here you will notice within the same draft it has added few more pictures over there right so along with the emojis it has added few pictures also anything else guys you want me to do with the same document or if you want any other document okay i have some suggestion from dheeraj uh i don't think this uh, craft is clear even to me create a sql server programming questions along with tables and question based on table means i couldn't get it dheeraj so dheeraj please rephrase your uh, craft i am coming back to you by the time i will uh, i am trying for shubham's uh, prompt so i am uh, using copilot again add some quiz question for the topic and i am mentioning my topic here oh, oh. um copying the same topic so dheeraj you can rephrase it like uh, create quiz on the topic sql server programming okay and it should be uh, it should focus on a particular content you can just mention it like that okay so here i have a quiz ready okay for the topic that i have mentioned see can you see i have the quiz available you can mention please add few more questions Yes, Dheeraj, this is what the uh, like uh, is a good one, good prompt. So I will be using it. Let's just come, let it complete. Yeah. So here you will notice earlier it has added five questions only, and now it has added few more questions. Okay. So now let's do one thing. Let's uh, open another document. I can open a new one. A new one. and here i'm going to use the draft from dheeraj so dheeraj your work is done by copilot sql programming assignment uh, i think this is what you were looking for
so you can review the tables are books member loan and fines you can find the schema this is the format these are the questions so dheeraj i think this is what you were looking for See here, it has mentioned like the book. This table contain information about the books in the library, such as title, author, and publication, genre, like that. Here we can do one thing. We can ask Copilot to add. Like let's say I'm just going to keep it. Create a a table. book with some sample data see now it has given you even the command you can directly use it create table book schema and this is the sample data Yeah, Shubham. Of course, that can be done easily with the Excel because there it will be automatically a table. But here, if you will notice in a Word itself, it has given you the command that you can use to create a table, and you can use this command to have some, uh, like uh, sample data over there in that table. So that uh, this co-pilot in Word can do it for you. Okay. Okay, so guys, I hope you guys find that uh, interesting. Okay, so we can move ahead. Let's move on to Excel. So I'm going to close MS Word. Let me close it. Or let's say, uh, let's create a PPT. Huh? This time I'm going to work with PPT. Going to start with a blank presentation. Here you can use Copilot. Like here, I can use Copilot. Uh, from the suggestion I have picked, create a presentation about. Um, I am mentioning the topic here. Um, this topic I will be picking up from this. Uh, I'm copying this topic only. Now it has created a PPT for me for this topic. Uh, there are total nine slides I can see. This is the main slide. 
presentation overview co-pilot use cases benefit of using co-pilot okay so if you want to add few more content over there please add a slide for agenda if you want to mention any specific agenda before creating the ppt even you can mention and along with that agenda your ppt will be created now here it has added a new slide with agenda and all the key points are mentioned over there please add few more slide focusing on how to craft effective prompts with copilot so right now there are total 10 slides let's see now it has added four slides focusing on crafting effective prompt with copilot best practices for crafting effective prompts tips for crafting effective prompts and common mistake to avoid when crafting prompts right so see how quickly you can work on a slide create the ppt uh, add or edit the slides right like the way i have added a, a, a created a ppt from scratch similarly like let's say if i am going to add another presentation and this presentation i want to create uh, with the reference of any document which is already available right let's say uh, here I have a document that is market trend report protein shake. OK, now let's see. This is the document available. Let me just show it for to you. This is for the protein shake. OK, here you have all the information. Going back. So now here I'm just going to write create a presentation using the the doc and slash um okay i'm not getting any suggestion here for my current file this is the market trend that i have just opened so what i can do i can Open this. I can use the link of this document. And I will mention here. Generally, what happens that when you are giving the reference of any document, you have suggestions for the recently opened file. 
okay but if you are not getting many time it may happen that you are not getting that file as a reference in a suggestion no problem you can go to that particular document okay and here you have a option under file under share you have a option to copy the link of this document okay just copy this and paste it over there like the way i have added oh by mistake i have added to the okay no no this is the correct one mm, okay so now i have a ppt created can you see that with the reference of the document the word document this is the agenda okay and this is the overview the viral reel key factor and here within few seconds my ppt is ready if you want to focus on any particular uh, topic any particular uh, paragraph so that you can mention please add few more slides slides about um about um let me just check okay about product features benefits to potential clients so whatever is the selected slide it will be automatically added after that but if you want to specify any particular space where these slide should be added so you can mention at the end of all slides see so now it has added product features health and fitness benefit easy availability so at the end it has added three slides with the topic that i have mentioned over there okay so this is how you can create a new ppt as i have mentioned a topic and it is created or if you want any particular topic with some key points or with the agenda it will be created or the third option is that if you want to refer any document and want to create ppt with the help of the same it will be created okay so okay so shubham has requested me to create a ppt okay let me do it for you if you have to follow a particular format of your organization you can also use the same let it just first uh, created i will show you how you can do that
Okay, so now the topic is uh, the PPT is created. Current status of job market. Presentation overview. Booming industries. Features of job and government's impact. Features job market, the role of AI. Right, so here you have 12, uh, 12 slides within your PPT. Now here it says that already a designer, this layout is here, but here if you will notice you have. Uh, This is the designer. Just near the co-pilot option, you have the designer. You have other layouts. You can use this for your current PPT. Okay. Uh, yes, Shubham, uh, my company has purchased this license for me. So in your organization, if you want to use Copilot, so you can request your organization if it is really needed to you, you can ask your organization to have it for you. OK, now let me quickly show you that how you can use a particular format. So let me just find out the format of my organization. OK, so like let's say this is the format I have to use. Now I'm going to create a PPT. About. Copilot. Using the. Current. PPT. Format.
aquí. Okay, it says that current you're creating a new presentation will replace your existing slide. So now here you will notice I have selected the format that I want to use for my current PPT. So it has used the current format. You will notice this is my synergetic PPT format and the topic that I have mentioned that was SQL programming assignment. And for this, I have referred a assignment. This is the document that was previously created. If you remember when we were, we were doing uh, uh, with Word, and now it has created 24 slide PPT here. Right. I, I think someone was asking that can we use the uh, our organization format to create the PPT? So this is what like uh, you can do it, of course. Umesh, am I audible? Okay, okay. Anyone, any other questions so far? With the PPT? This I'm talking in term of creating something. While creating it, you can ask Copilot to make it more formal or to make it casual. Like, let's say you are, uh, you know, just creating the people. Like I said, let's say sometime you have a, a family function and or if you have an event, uh, you know, like, for example, you have a, a, you know, just annual function in your organization uh, that is not more formal, some casual. So you can just have. Uh, that mentioned that use a casual tone for that or like uh, as a student you can mention that PPT should be uh, I want to create this PPT for my class presentation or you can mention it for your uh, to uh, presentation to your boss make it more formal make it more directive and so on. Uh, yes, Umesh, you can mention that you want the slides from number 1 to 15 or please keep only 15 slides or 10 slides like that. That of course you can do that. If you want to delete any particular slide, you can ask Copilot to delete the slides. From 1 to 10 or 1 to 5, something like that. Yet you can do that. OK, so now let's move on to Excel. Excel, I think um, we 
Excel, I can we we can use Excel to create any sample table. Uh, let's try that. Let me add a new workbook. So now here you need an Excel table in this sheet to continue. If you want to see an example, I have one for you. Click on try an example. OK, so here when you have click on try an example, it has just quickly created a table for you. So now you can ask the question, you can analyze your data, you can add some formula column over there that already I have given you the demo that how we can do that. So creating from scratch doesn't make sense in your Excel basically. But yes, for sample table, you can ask Copilot to do the same. OK, like you can ask. Create a. Sample. Employ. But the scope pilot with Excel is more like. Um, but I can't create a sample table employ if you need help anything. Yeah, that's what like. Uh, it's sometime. Behave like that's because this scope pilot is only helping you out when you already have a column available. We can do it in a in a different way. Let me try it. Already I'm inserting a table. Table has a header. OK. And here. I will use Copilot. So it has added a column. Please add. Five. Rows. With some. Sample data. But yes, again, I'm saying in Excel creating something like creating a table from scratch doesn't make sense. Generally, we use Copilot with Excel for analyzing your data. OK, to ask the question to format it, to edit it, add some formula column, understanding the formula, right to follow some suggestions and all. So creating something from scratch or table doesn't make sense using the Copilot for the same. So now let's move ahead. I'm just going to close it. Now let's move ahead that how we can write the effective prompt if you have to edit the content. OK. Let me close this one. So now we are going to understand that how we can craft effective prompts to transform your 
sorry to transform your documents, your data and your text in Microsoft 365 application. So here uh, we are basically going to focus if you already have a PPT or document with you. So how you can edit that, how you can transform that, how you can rewrite your information. So for that, I already have some sample documents available that I'm going to use. Yeah, so here I have three documents, uh, basically two documents. OK, I have this Excel sheet and I have a document ready with me. Now first, let me open the work document. This is a document that is employee benefits at Graphic Design Institute. OK, so now we are going to uh, use Copilot here. Let me check this document first. For example, I want to edit it and here I want to write. Visualize. The stock. As a table. I think I should first select the content before visualizing it as a table. Let me click on stop generating. I can click on. A. And I will ask Copilot to visualize this doc as a table again. Now you will notice I have the same document, but now as it was a document, you may find it sometimes difficult to read all the contents, right? So here I have asked Copilot to generate uh, or to visualize this document as a table. So now this Copilot has organized your information in a way of table where I have two columns, the category and the description. So all the uh, 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 what I should I say headings are there as a category and here there is a key point related to the category each category as a description available. Right, so you can easily uh, just edit your document document the way you want. You can also write like. Uh, Please add one more column in the table that is impact on employee well-being.
I should mention. These are third column in the table. Let me rephrase it. If it is not working, I will be writing from scratch. Yeah, so now it has uh, made it for me. Employee benefits category description and then I have the third column. I'll just, I will just quickly copy it. And paste it over there. OK, or uh, you have another option. You can directly use this draft with copilot option here and you can ask to create the the table. So both the options you have. If you want to add related image. Add. Images. To the. Document. It has not added the images. But yes, few sentences. I don't. Find any. Images. Please add. Related. Images. No, it is not doing it for me. OK, that images will be added quickly with the PPT, but in document it is not adding it. No problem. We can do one thing. I can open a new PPT. Add a slide about. The T20. World Cup. 2024. With. India team. Images. Let's see if it is. Or I should write create a PPT, not add a slide. OK, so it has added a slide. Create. Oh. Okay. 
So the first we have discussed that how we can summarize the content. We have you summarize the content with uh, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, uh, your uh, Outlook, right? Teams. Then we have discussed. OK, it says that do you want to replace? Yes, replace. So after summarize, we have uh, used uh, we have created the prompt to create a document, create a PPT. OK, so now we are editing the content. We are writing the draft. If you have to edit something, edit any document like we have just observed that how we have edited the document in a way of table and we have added it. Now how we are creating the PPT and you have to add a particular something, add a slide that you can do that. So this. Uh, T20 Word Cup. Oh, have I missed something? Cricket World Cup. Should I write the Cricket World Cup? Add a flight for Indian cricket team. OK, so a slide is added. India's performance is T20 World Cup. I think this is what that is added, I guess. Yeah, this was a new slide that was added. Anything else, guys, you want me to add it with a PPT? Like already a PPT is created. If you want to add any image, add any slide that you can do that. Delete the slides. That is 10 to 13. OK, it is not deleting. Mm. But it should delete. Why it is not working? Delete the light number twelve. OK, I'm surprised, but it, it, it is going to delete or add the slide with a particular number that you're going to mention or it is going to add a slide on a particular number that I have already given you the demo for the same. Anyone any other questions so far? We 20 winner Indian player images add in slide. OK, let's try the same.
it has added but not the image of the indian cricket team any other prompt let's try this one Okay, so it has created a PPT. Overview, then I have Indian cricket player, then detail about each player, Jaspeed, Bumra, Rishabh, Pant, and conclusion. Here, if you want to add a slide, add a, add a slide for for the Hardik Pandya. I think these three are, uh, these four are Copilot's favorite player. <laughs> okay, so now it has added a new slide for Pandya also. Okay, so here we go. Um, Manish, it is just like the PPT we have just created. Okay, so anything else, any other topic apart from the cricket we have? <laughs> like already we have created it from a, a selected document or uh, created basically i'm looking for editing something we are mainly focusing on editing part here creation already we have done okay like here we have just added a new slide with a particular topic like i have mentioned hardik pandya so that is created by uh, copilot now we can move ahead And let's focus on another part that is about asking the question and analyzing the content. So for that, I am heading towards the next part. And I have few samples, uh, sample file that I'm going to use here. No, not this one. Uh, yeah, this one. So I'm going to use these documents for analyzing the content or asking the question. Let's first start with Microsoft Word. I'm going to use first uh, this one market analysis report. Let me open Copilot. So this is the market analysis report for this chai. 
now you can ask the question is there a call to action as right now i have just mentioned my goal that is what call to action but here you can make it in a better way writing the prompt with the proper context and your expectation okay so let it finish up after that we will make it more specific so here it has found uh, some call to action we can make it more specific like i can write is there a call to action in this in this report to address our challenges and concerns we can also mention please provide suggestions for improving the call to action if necessary so here you have uh, consider the following solution the report doesn't include a call to action to address challenges and concern particularly into the promotion plan and strategy section it outlines objectives such as increasing awareness encouraging trial and purchase and here to improve the call to action consider following suggestion and co pilot has given us some suggestions right similarly you can ask few more question like can you give me an example of compiling call to action how can i measure the effectiveness of the call to action let me click on this question so here to measure the effectiveness of the call to action in your report you can use the following key uh, performance and these all are the kpis that you can refer so similarly you can ask further questions how to how can i improve the click through rate 
what are some best practices for A and B testing and so on. Similarly, like here, I have this PPT available. Uh, this PPT, okay, I will open it. Okay, so this is the PPT, if you remember, we have created in my previous demo. So I will go to Copilot. I can use organize this presentation for an for an executive product review. Okay. Now refer to the and here you can refer to the document. Uh, I want to refer this document which is there in my OneDrive. See, this is the document that I want to refer market analysis. Uh, no, not this one. Actually, this one. Mystic Spice. So I can copy the link. And I can use here as a reference of this file. For product information, you can arrange the slides by product. and include an overview then overview and we can add list of features and benefits features and benefits then i want to add Customer feedback. That's it. So now it is ready. It has reorganized my PPT the way I have asked. So this is the market report for this chai. Here I have overview, key features and benefit and my customer feedback. So these three points I have mentioned. And now for as a reference, I have mentioned the document. Okay, that was the market analysis report. No, no, that was my this one, this report. OK. And accordingly, I have total 28 pages PPT available. OK, if you want to keep the previous one, you can use the same. Agenda I have added previously, I will delete it. I do not need it. OK. If you want to add the new slides to a particular place that again you can mention. Now I'm just going to open quickly a Excel file here. 
So for this example, I'm just going to use my Excel file that is my Fabricon Q1 marketing campaign. Okay. So here, let me just open this co pilot. I have few columns available like I have campaign owner, campaign name, launch date, campaign type, budget, revenue, total user, targeted and engaged user. So now here as we have followed that we have to start the prompt with our goal. What do you want to do? Do you want to create something? Do you want to analyze something? Do you want to uh, review something? Do you want to summarize something? So that goal should be clear. Okay. Now. Um, add a formula column. Or I can use. Add a column that combine engage user and campaign owner. Okay. So here it is giving me that do you want to insert the column like this? This is the engaged user and there is a related campaign owner who have worked on it. If you want to add it, you can click on insert owner or like let's say I want to add another column. Add. A formula. To get. Engaged user ratio. So it is giving me suggestion. This is the engagement ratio I am getting. That I'm getting out of total user engaged. Uh, total user targeted and total engaged user. You can click on add. And the new engage user use uh, user ratio. This column will be added with a particular formula. OK, so you can also have the data insight, so I can click on show data insight. Or you can click on show a suggestion for a formula column. So it is giving you the suggestion if you have any other option or any other way you can add some column. So it is asking me that here you have an option to add the ROI. Right? So if you want, you can insert this or you can keep it. Here you will notice we have just added engage user ratio. So you can ask the co-pilot that uh, we need to uh, understand. How it calculates user engagement. So if any formula is added, but you are not aware, you do not understand that formula, you can ask Copilot. OK, it will give you the understanding with a detail how this formula is added. Now it has given you the explanation to calculate user engagement. You can use the engage user ratio. 
OK, formula column which has already been inserted in your table. This formula divides the number of engaged user by the total user engaged or the targeted. OK, for each campaign, it provides the percentage that reflects the effectiveness of the campaign in engaging its audience. The higher the percentage, the more effective the campaign is considered to be in term of engagement. If you need further analysis or insight, you can uh, ask it again. You can ask other questions with the co-pilot. OK, like. Add. Um, anyone who can suggest me any other uh, prompt you would uh, like me to add over there? Please suggest some prompt. Like I can add, add a, a column that calculates the number of days after the after the project launch event okay like what was your project launch date and now how many days are done? OK. Let's see. For example, this digital marketing, this event was done on 27th of Jan and today the date is uh, it's 13 July. So Ma, how many days are done? OK. This is the data of 23. Huh? So if you just remember accordingly, it is giving us the answer. So I can click on insert column and it is giving me the answer. If you will notice this date is 23, 2023. So now it has more than a year. It's almost one year and six months. So accordingly, it is giving me the number of dates. So if you will look at the formula. Here. Now this is the current date, so it automatically take the current date and Whatever is the launch date, it is going to minus. OK, and you will get the number of days after the event was or the product was launched. Uh, I can ask calculate. Uh, no, that uh, is not currently available. That option is not currently available. Right now it is only working for the data which is available in Microsoft Excel. Please add a column. Uh, I want to add a column with a profit. OK, let's just try. Please add a column. That calculates. The. Total profit.
let me click on insert column so it has given me the column added you can also ask the question highest revenue generated from the from the campaign type digital marketing let's see It has given me max of revenue that is 16,342 and that I have got from the digital marketing. You will notice out of all the digital marketing, the highest one is 16,342. So you can ask the question immediately. You will get the answer. OK, and behind the scene, actually it is creating the pivot uh, table. If you want to add that, you can add that to your new sheet. Campaign owner with total revenue higher than 45,000. Uh, let me have the revenue. So it has given me the answer and I have got this is the campaign owner who have got the highest revenue, right? Greater than 45,000 that is 45,038. That is Halima, this one. So if I filter. And here if I found out the total revenue, this is just I'm cross verifying. And the sum is 45,000. Can you see at the bottom of my screen? 4538. So whatever the answer you are getting always just cross check that. So I have got all the answer correct from Copilot. Anything else guys? Any other question you have to ask with Copilot? Lowest engagement engages user ratio. OK, write this. What is the lowest engaged user ratio? You can further, uh, you know, make the source like you want to ask the lowest ratio from a particular campaign type. So even that you can um, question. So here you have an answer. The lowest one is 2.67. That is from the campaign product mansion. OK, by the particular campaign owner. And here you have a table. If you will add it to a new sheet. So this is the table, the detail information about the same. OK. So this we have just observed that how we can use Copilot to summarize the content, right? How we can write the effective prompt to summarize the content, effective prompt to create the content, to create the draft, effective prompt to ask the question, to analyze the content. OK, or using the or writing the correct prompt to edit the content.
okay i hope that is all clear guys anyone anything which is not clear any questions you have now the next part because i am going to move uh, picking up the case study like uh, i have few documents related with the sales hr marketing i wanted to show you uh, how we can use a copilot in that particular area so please let me know if you have any further question it is all clear can you all quickly show me thumbs up all clear to the till this topic okay so imesh umesh if you don't have any question you can put your hands down Thank you. Okay, so now let's move on with the topic. Now I'm going to pick uh, for for some uh, sales use cases. Yes, of course, you need to verify Umesh, whatever the result you are getting from the co-pilot, any document, any content, just verify everything. Whatever it is the answer it has given you, given to you, just verify whether it is the correct one or not. At least have a practice to just try it for some time. Okay, just cross check it. So now for this, uh, I have different use cases. Okay, I have few files to give you some example from the case study for the sales. Okay. Now, for example, if you have to create a sales presentation, so presentation already I have shown you. I am not going to repeat it again. Like if you have to refer any document and you have to you have to create it from scratch. So PPT I am not showing you. Uh, let me pick up some other example for you. Okay, now let me open a supplier agreement. So in a sales, so this co-pilot in Word, it can help you uh, as a, like you are a, for example, sales, uh, sales professionals, okay? And now here, co-pilot in Word, it can help you to create, edit, and summarize the document, of course, okay? Now here, for example, I have a document as a salesperson that is going to so supplier agreement. Now I have this agreement. Uh, let's see. I have um, three agreements. I have from one from Taiwan, one for Contoso and one from Wide World Importers. Now you have three agreements available and I, you want to compare all three one. So how you can do that? So for that, I will do one thing. I can just open a new document. <clears throat> Going to open a new Word document. And here I will ask co-pilot that I am a sales 
manager in synergetics okay Uh, a supplier of uh, different products please create a report that compares supplier agreements for three of um, our customers Please provide a recommendation on contract renewal contract renewal. and the attached documents mm, i will be browsing the file from the cloud let me browse it so that is there in this link another link i will be picking up for quanto so copy the link and third one i am picking worldwide copy the link mention over there and click on generate So now it has given me the effective summary. Right comparison report. Comparison of supplier agreement. Seven trade uh, traders. Quanto so and worldwide importers. And this is the recommendation for contract renewal. If you want to regenerate it, you can click on regenerate. Okay, so now just review the content which is generated. If you feel like it is okay, you can click on keep it. So now you will notice that the sales person, it is so easy for you to just quickly review the agreements. You can have the comparison. You must be having the agreement from the different suppliers. So within few minutes, this co-pilot is going to uh, give you the summary and the comparison for all the reports from all the agreements. Okay, 
so now guys let's take a break for 10 minutes after the break we will come back and explore few more cases use cases i will be using some sample documents from hr or from it and from marketing also marketing i'm just putting in the last priority because already i have taken few marketing related documents so i am keeping in mind mind to keep first priority for the hr and it as i have not taken any samples uh, data from there okay so let's take a break for 10 minute quickly and i will come back and discuss about the same
Okay, so everyone, I'm back. I hope you all are there with us. Okay, great. Okay, so moving ahead, now I'm going to pick some IT use cases. So for that, the file I'm going to use. Let me close the current one. And uh, here I have, yeah, this is IT use cases. So these are also some files that I'm going to use. So first, <clears throat> let's say that uh, you are an IT manager, okay, and you have to create a project plan, okay. And for this, I'm going to use Copilot. So for that here, I'm just going to use Copilot uh, from a browser. So I'm going to use Bing.com. And here you have to make sure you are logged into your organization account. Like I'm logging uh, log with my Synergetic account. Uh, as you are using it for work purpose, so make sure this toggle should be on for work. And for this, I'm going to use or uh, create the project plan. From the document, let me check. Um, this is my. Yeah, this one. This is my Contoso Sifagard project specification. So for this particular project, I'm going to create a project plan. So now here. You have to mention that. I am. Director. At. Director of IT at Synergetics. Please create a project plan for. Installing a new network security. See here, my goal is clear. What is your goal? Create a project plan. For you have to give the context like why you want to create that. What is your expectation? So context is what to installing a new network security product. into a corporate network and Refer. Refer the doc. Flash. Uh, now the file I'm going to use this one. I'm going to copy the link. And enter. See, now here I have my project plan ready with a reference of the attached document. So I have my goal clear. I have my context clear. I have my expectation. OK, and I have my source. So accordingly, I have my project plan ready and it has given me the resource file, which is attached over there. You can copy this project plan and paste it to another document. OK, so you can even use this co-pilot over there in the bing.com. Make the toggle on for work. It is going to work or like 
we having the reference of all the communication done with your charts, your overall OneDrive and so on. Basically, it is going to answer you for the same. OK, so now you can also use like uh, in a PowerPoint, you can create the project plan presentation. For example, I have copy this. OK. Let's say I'm going to create a new document. So in this place only I have option to add a new document. I will paste it here. And this I will name it as a project plan. My project plan is ready. OK, now I have to create a new document. Let me refresh it. My project plan is ready. Now I'm going to create a new PowerPoint presentation quickly. And here with the help of Copilot. And here I will write create presentation from the file. And this file is my. Not this one actually. And now he will notice how quickly as an IT manager you are ready with your PPT. Here it is giving me some outline. So I have my PPT ready with 12 slides. Now here you will notice with each and every slide, here is a presentation presenter note ready. So whatever is the content available, it is it is adding the presenter note with a detail of each and every topic. OK, so that you can use while presentation. Now let's see I have to add. Add a. Q&A slide at the end of the PPT with appropriate image. OK, so now you here you will notice at the end of the PPT it has added a QA slide. Now let's say you are not OK with the image which is added. So you can write I. Can you see it? Don't like. The image. You. Adding. On QA slide. Please replace it with a different image. Let's try this. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, but I can't do that. OK. No problem. OK, so currently it is not doing it for you, but 
it happens uh, if you are not satisfied with the image which is added, it replaces it for you. But currently it is not working. Okay, so now let's move on and try other things like here in this. Uh, I have one more document that is my. This document. And I will make a copy of the same. File. Save as. Save as. Create a copy. Now let's say if you have to update anything, you have a technical report you are using like this is a technical report available and if you want to update the same. So for that you can use Copilot here. You can ask Copilot that add a section for this document. About the types of VPNs. Make it more specific. Discuss pros and cons of each. Let's see. If you want, you can use this co pilot icon over there at the end. Here you can use this draft with co pilot option also. You can copy the content and place it here. Or you can directly craft with the co-pilot option over there. If this option you have like this, the same question you have asked here, so you were having option to rephrase it. That this is just a difference of using it from the chart and using it from that co-pilot draft option over there. OK, so these were some few. Uh, these were some use cases that I have shown you for the marketing for the sales for marketing. OK, uh, here this one more. Um, I wanted to show you for HR. Um, Like here you will notice as a HR sometime, you know, you have a, like a post available. OK, and for the same post, you get different resumes and you do not know how to filter out that resume, which one is the best one. So you can have the help of Copilot here and you can ask Copilot to analyze the resume or it can give you the recommendation which candidate is the best one, right? So here for that, I'm having this. Uh, Three resume over there that I'm going to use. So I can go and uh, open a new document. Here I can use this co pilot option over there. And I can write I am a hiring manager. For synergetics, we are hiring for the position. You have to mention which position you are looking for. Accordingly, it is going to analyze. So we are hiring for the position of <laughs> senior animation. 
animation designer. This is my goal. Please create a report. That compare. Compares. Attach resume. And you can make it more specific. You may in the attached. Oh no, compares the attached resume or rank it. Uh, rank the candidate from most qualified to least to least qualified. Click on generate. Oh, sorry. Uh, I have to mention the documents. So I can go to resume. Copy link. And the third one is. Yeah, here you go. Is not able to generate content from this. Just please remove any pasted link from the description. Let me mention it again, guys. Uh, this is for Alex. And Next is for Holly. Yeah, I think now it's fine. So I have three resume. I'm going to click on generate. So this is the resume comparison report it is creating for us. Comparison criteria, work experience, education, skill and publications. This is the comparison result you will notice. So if you remember, we have asked this from the a person who is most qualified to the least one. So. It has. Uh, yeah, so the person who is most qualified, so that is what Alex who is having master degree in his hand. He is proficient in 2D and 3D software, creative and adaptation. Then uh, there is uh, different publications even here. So out of all the resume, it has uh, found Alex is the best one, is the most qualified one. Then you have an asset who is having more experience than Alex, relevant and high quality, but he is having only the bachelor degree, proficient in 2D and 3D software, experience and skilled, but no book publications. And the last one is only having two year experience. Now, if you are a hiring manager, the picture is clear for you that which one is the most qualified. Even here, there is a ranking and the recommendation from the co-pilot. You can refer this recommendation and take the call. So this was all about the co-pilot uh, guys from my site. Uh, 
so today we have learned what is this Microsoft Copilot is all about. What is its capability? How it actually works for us? OK, what is the structure and all? How we can draft the effective prompts? And even I have given you different demos to use the Copilot capability in Word, Excel, PowerPoint, uh, Office.com, uh, your uh, Bing.com, on the browser, Teams, OK? And with OneDrive. I have also used some use cases for IT, sales, marketing, HR, and so on. So that if you are from the related field, you can relay that how you can use the capability of Copilot in your uh, domain or in your scenarios. So that's it from my, uh, my side, guys. Uh, thank you so much for attending the session. If you have any doubt, any question, you all are welcome. Please put your queries or doubt into the chat box. I am here to help you out and to solve your queries. Please let me know. Thank you so much, Shubham. Guys, I have few links I would like to share. You can refer that. So this is the course link I'm sharing. So this course focus that what are the different use cases? Uh, if you will notice, there is a link empower your workspace. For Microsoft 365 use cases. Like if you are from sales, if you are from marketing. OK, here you have a uh, different exercise and there are related uh, reference files you can use. You can download that. OK. If I go back. Um, let's say for sales. Here all the exercises are here. You have an option to download a file also. You can use it while practicing for Copilot. If you are new, you have got a new license from your organization. You can download these files and practice on the same. One link I will be sharing. To drop the effective prompts. Uh, no, Raghav, you can use this co-pilot capability with Microsoft Edge. Like in my case, I'm using the Safari browser. This is my uh, MacBook, but I'm not able to use a co-pilot capability here with this platform. Even I have also tried. Let me just show you one thing. Uh, Let me type bring.com. Yeah, with this bring.com. OK, you can use this co-pilot. But here I have observed you have some like uh, the better result you get when you are using this uh, with a Microsoft Edge. There is some limitations when you are using with other browsers. So that's why Microsoft recommend you to use this uh, uh, this uh, Microsoft Edge. As this Microsoft browser, I hope you all know that. Yes, anyone, any questions? Uh, Archie, is there anything from your side to discuss? 
No, ma'am. Okay. Okay, so guys, thank you so much for attending the session. This was really a wonderful session with you all. You all were really very active, guys. So I really enjoyed taking this session with you all. Uh, you all were interacting with me, putting some questions, uh, putting